I am Anna Weber. I perform my PhD at IBM Research Zurich in cooperation with ETH Zurich. And I want to welcome you to my short presentation about TCR epitope binding affinity prediction with multimodal neural networks. And on the right, you can already see what I'm talking about. You see on top a T cell receptor, which is a large protein that binds to a small peptide in the middle that uh, is on, presented on an MHC protein on the bottom. To give you an overview, um, the T cell receptors or TCRs selectively recognize foreign antigens. And this is one mechanism how the immune system differentiates between foreign pathogens that are harmful and healthy human tissue. But so far there is a missing link because we cannot yet predict the binding specificity between a T cell receptor and its antigen from the sequence. So that means that effectively we are blind to the function of most T cells because we only ever get the information about T cell receptor sequence and it doesn't tell us what they bind and so it doesn't tell us their function. Here we propose a multimodal neural network that uh, will predict this binding specificity and we wanted to extrapolate both to unseen epitopes and unseen T cell receptors, because this way the model will be able to predict binding affinities uh, for new data uh, as it arrives. The model that we propose is inherently interpretable because it uses a bimodal attention mechanism. And uh, the goals that we have with this project are to advance the prediction of autoantigens in autoimmune diseases and also to improve the development of immunotherapies for cancer. Let me quickly present the model architecture that we use. As I said, it is a bimodal model. So we have two inputs, the T cell receptor sequence and the epitope, and we perform several uh, calculations with it before we integrate the information into the dense layers. The T cell receptor sequence is uh, inputted as an amino acid sequence and we use the PLOSM62 matrix as an encoding, which is a very established method of encoding amino acid sequences and is based on phylogenetic analysis of which amino acids usually replace each other. And the epitopes are inputted as smiles, which is a form of representing small molecules. Um, and you see an example here. On the embedding, we then perform convolutions with several different kernel sizes. And then we have a context attention layer. And here we use the T cell receptor as context for the epitope and the epitope as context for the T cell receptor. And this contact at context attention layer determines which atoms and bonds the model uh, thinks are important and takes into, the co into consideration um, more. Then we have some dense layers and we end up with the binding probability. Since we generalize the task of uh, a T cell receptor epitope binding, as the binding between a protein and a small molecule, we can use the binding database to pre-train on over 1.8 million examples. And then we use the VDJ database to fine tune the model on 73,000 examples of T cell receptors interacting with epitopes. Both databases only contain positive examples. So we generate negative examples by shuffling the data. And that means that we associate, for example, T cell receptors with epitopes that they are not associated with in the database. This does not give us true negative data, but the probability that 
to randomly associated TCR and apotope actually bind is extremely low. We also apply a strict split. That means that no TCR in the test set uh, was already included in the training set. To present you some results, we performed a five-fold cross-validation and we achieve a mean ROC AUC of 0.73 and a mean precision recall score of 0.71. And with the interpretable attention layer, we can perform case studies such as this one, where you see an apotope and you see the attention that the model uh, gives each of the atoms in it. And you see that in general, it has a very high weight on the backbone nitrogens and also a high weight in general on the side chains. And this will help us interpret the results that we're getting. And as an outlook, we want to improve the generalization also to unseen apotopes, because right now uh, it is most, the model is mostly good to generalize to unseen T cell receptors. And with this, I want to thank both IBM Research and ETH Zurich for supervising my PhD and Helical and IPS Network for funding us and you for your attention.